back to another video on my channel so I do apologize for all the dry skin around my cuticle area I have a bad habit of picking the skin around my nails they're perfectly fine and I just wanted to let you know that I've had these nail on for about four weeks now maybe a bit longer they've grown out quite a lot they're very battered any nail tech will tell you your nails get absolutely trashed so I thought I'd just show you how I remove an old design and prep for I'm going to do an acrylic colour change so I'm just going in with this cuticle pusher I got from Salon Services um, it's really really good it's really nice to push back the eponychium and then get all that dead cuticle which you can see here now and then the other end which you can see up close it's got this kind of scraper and it's perfect it's really gentle and it just gets rid of all that dead cuticle on the nail plate and it's so effective so I just make sure I get right around those side walls across the top area of the nail just to make sure that I'm getting everything for some people I would say that this is absolutely plenty just make sure you're being thorough um, I like to on myself and some of my clients that I find get a lot of cuticle build up on their nails I go in with a e-file bit, um, a cuticle bit, it's perfectly safe, it's not abrasive and I just go in like I'm doing here, this is from Todak USA a really good site for all professional cuticle bits um, you know, smooth top bits for removing designs and things like that I love it and the more you buy the cheaper it becomes so yeah that's where I get all my bits from so I'm just going over removing any left dead skin on the nail plate getting right into those side walls making sure you're being really thorough getting every last bit of that dead cuticle off the nail plate so I'm now going in with my smooth top bit and this is a medium grit or medium carbide bit and I am going in and removing my colour so I encapsulated this glitter in rubber top coat from the gel bottle ink so it's got a thick layer between the colour and the top coat so I'm just removing that I'm bringing my e-file from the top of the nail bringing it down and it looks like I'm going backwards and forwards but if you look closely I'm not I'm just dragging it down this is because if you were to move it backwards and forwards keeping it on the nail you would build up too much heat for your client and it's just uncomfortable and it's not good for the nail either so I'm just going in and literally removing all of that color the color I have had on my nails for four weeks is Magpie Beauty um, gel colour and one of their glitters, the glitter is Scarlet, it's so beautiful um, but yeah and what I'm also going to do because I'm going to be doing an acrylic design as you can kind of see on my right hand, a little sneak peek um, I'm going to be taking down some of the bulk as well of this base layer because I need to keep it really nice and thin to be able to do that acrylic design because we'll be encapsulating and otherwise it will create too much bulk so I was just showing there I've got a tiny little split so rather than doing the design over it and then a couple of weeks down the line have a crack and then my nail break I'm just going to remove that I thought it looked quite funny it looks like a little hook <laughs> I'm just going to remove that tip really easy to do just taking my e-file and just going along the edge I've got it at quite high speed and turning the speed back down again and going over that product getting it really nice and thin moving on to the second now I've just sped it up now doing the same thing dragging my bit down the nail not moving it backwards and forwards just getting rid of all that colour any lifting I'm really lucky my nails never ever lift um, I've never been a lifter, you can put any product on my nails and it will last for weeks and weeks until you remove it so I never really get any lifting um, but yeah I'm just taking some of that bulk down as well for the redesign When you're doing this amount of filing on a nail, especially with an e-file, I recommend moving about so I'm not staying in one place at 
all the time because that again would build up too much heat on the nail so I'm moving around going from one edge of the nail to the other going from the tip of the nail to closer to the epinicium area so I'm moving my bit around so I'm not building up any heat on the nail and always check with your client just let me know if you feel any heat it's always best to do that best to be safe than just make them feel uncomfortable but luckily I'm doing it for myself so I'm probably more ruthless on myself to be honest as all nail techs are we're always so rough on our own nails but yeah I'll just let you continue to watch the thumb and I'll be back later on I don't know why but I find it so satisfying watching people removing their old designs. I don't know why, I don't know if it's just me but I find it really therapeutic seeing the colour come away from the nail. Really, I don't know if I'm just being weird. Let me know down below if you, you have this same weirdness. <laughs> So now going in with a hand file, I'm just taking down again some of the thickness with my file because I don't want to get too close with my e-file bit um, to the natural nail. So I go in to finish it off with my hand file. I'm just showing you how much my nail's grown and my hypernicium is quite high and um, because I always have my nails long my hypernicium grows quite far out underneath the nail so I can never file my nails down too short and I'm just prepping the cuticle area um, so making sure this just make sure all that cuticle on the nail plate's gone just filing around prepping it getting rid of the shine on that new nail growth and I find if you're having trouble with lifting a really good thing to do is obviously file around the cuticle area or buff but then turn it around the other way and just etch it in the opposite direction that will really promote good adhesion to the nails it just makes the, the etches in like a crisscross pattern if you were to look at it under a microscope it creates like a hash pattern and that is just creates the most it just helps the product put on gel or acrylic grab onto it rather than it being a really smooth surface so yeah just going into the other nails making sure i'm happy with the shape just giving them a rough file making them slightly more narrow i'm not taking any length down i like the length they are i'm really feeling long stiletto -y nails at the moment or almond um that's really my vibes at the moment so yeah just taking a bit more of that bulk down making sure they're really thin but trying not to go too thin that they snap you've got to be careful when you're doing that when you're doing a redesign it's so easy to file it too much and then they break so you've just got to keep checking I always keep checking the thickness from the sides and different angles So now going in with my scrubby brush, just giving them a really good scrub, getting off all that dust and then I just check them over and make sure I'm happy with how they're prepped and then you're done, ready for your design, an acrylic colour, gel, whatever. So that's it, they're ready to go, stay tuned for the next video where I show you this cool design using all acrylic and I'll see you in my next one, bye!